What's going on guys, it's Matthew here with Gadget University and I'm here with a review of the TouchWiz UX interface for the Galaxy Tab 10.1. It came out last Friday, Samsung pushed it out to all the Wi-Fi version tabs. It should be coming to the Verizon tab soon, but in the meantime I wanted to show you guys some of the new changes that came through. Uh, first, of the, first off, it's going to have a new uh, taskbar at the bottom. It's kind of a darker shade, kind of a, of a gray. Also, it brings a new screenshot button. So from your home screen, or any screen, I'm sorry, you can actually take a screenshot without having to root your device. Um, they brought this first out in the Droid Charge, uh, so I thought it was really cool that they did that without having to root your phone. Now they have it into the tablets as well. Uh, you also get a quick launch of some mini apps. This brings up a task manager, which allows you to close out of any open uh, pro uh, programs and applications. Uh, you also have calendar and you have world clock and you also have pin memo pin memo is actually really cool because for example uh, you can just have a stylus and while you're in an app you can actually pull this up and just start writing save it you know, erase it if you want to do text you can do text it's actually very useful I think that's one of the coolest things I wish they had this on a phone a lot of times you're in an app or you're doing something and you want to just pull something up, you want to just take some notes down, save some information, easy. Uh, you can also go to here, you got the calculator. They put the right apps here. These aren't customizable. You can't change apps down here. I would like to have been able to do that. So I don't need calendar and world clock all the time. But the ones that they did put down here are very useful. M music player as well. Now, with addition of these new mini apps, you also have new widgets. Uh, these widgets are pretty pretty much uh, a nice nicer looking version of the touch widgets that we're used to seeing. Uh, you, these widgets are actually kind of similar to the ones that are on the Galaxy S2. They're more closer together, they're a lot, they're resizable as well and to some extent on some of them. Also uh, they provide a little bit more information. Um, they're actually kind of nicer to look at. So a lot of this is really aesthetics it's really just going to make your device look a lot, you know, neater. You know, it's, it kind of brings everything together. But in addition to that, you got some nice little features in the uh, notification pane. Uh, if you see, you have your Wi-Fi and all that stuff all right here. You can turn off the Bluetooth, flight mode, auto rotation. Uh, you can auto adjust the brightness. You also have quick access to settings. Now. Uh, one thing I did like too is when you go into motion settings, these are the settings where you can actually motion activate the device and I will show you that if I can later on. Now on a screen you have different modes. Now I have standard mode, you have movie mode, you have dynamic and this is really cool because it gives you a little bit of tweaking options on the screen display. Now this is one of the best screens in the industry right now. Um, a lot of recites and reviewers have claimed this is even better than the iPad display. Uh, just to show you that, let's pull up a movie. Now, if you guys watched my previous, if you guys watched my previous review on the Galaxy Tab, you would have noticed that I was very, very, very disappointed that they did not include a video app. Now, what is so important about this video app that you're asking? It's it's very awesome uh, because it does not require that you actually convert anything. So you can literally download any movie file that you want to play, anything, MKV, uh, AVI, MP4, anything. Put it on your tab, open this app, and start playing it. No conversion necessary. It plays at a great frame rate. So this is an episode of House. And you see this, it's clear. Colors look great. No lag, audio was synced up with the video. You also get typical features like on here where you can um, go into outdoor visibility mode where it'll make everything oversaturated so you can see it better in the uh, light outside. Um, you can change the color tone to cool or warm. Right now it's on normal, of course. And uh, back at the home screen, you know, you have some different options, of course. Everything's pretty much the same uh, here. 
Now you have a new email application. Let's get to that. It looks a little bit different. It's not nothing really special. It's kind of actually a lot like the Gmail app. You have two panes. You can scroll up and down here on your side for your folders and things that you have and you have your emails. It also does support conversation view. So you can change it to show email threads, which I do like a lot. It's pretty good. Um, and also, you have uh, Words with Friends pre-installed. There's a lot of other apps pre-installed as well. Uh, Pulse comes with it. Uh, you got the social hub which will bring all your social networks all into one place. I didn't configure that yet because I'm not using anything but Google Plus right now. So I would like to see Google Plus integrated into more apps like this eventually once it's out of beta. Um, you got Words with Friends and this is a special tablet version. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this yet but it does uh, allow you to um, use multiple panes. You can chat over here, play over here, and then over here you have your friends. So. Um, you know, it's a lot of nice enhancements. I strongly recommend that you, if you have a Galaxy Tab, go out and download it. Uh, it brings a lot of good things to the tablet. Uh, most people have a, a bad, you know, assumption about these skins that are being applied to Android. And it's coming. I didn't think it was going to happen on tablets. HTC is doing it soon. And obviously Galaxy Tab is doing it. I mean, excuse me, Samsung is doing it right now. Now, the Media Hub is pretty similar. Um, you can go in here and download and actually rent movies and these are fairly new movies you know you can season one of Wilfred I heard the show's pretty funny click on that you can watch episode one and you can actually own it for $1.99 so I mean it, they got a lot of content on these media um, apps on here guys so it's not like it's one of those rinky dinky you know add-ins that they just threw in here just to kind of give you something. Um, they're putting new content on these uh, items. You still have a uh, movie studio so you can edit videos um, that you import or you take on here. You have an actual photo editor. You can edit your photos that you take with this camera and, uh, and you pretty much can edit any photo that you put on here. Uh, you got ebooks. I think it comes preloaded with uh, Wizard of Oz. Let me see. Yes it does. And this does this is compatible also with a PDF file, so you can input uh, import EPUBs content in here. Same thing; it's very responsive, very much like iBooks. So if this interests you, um, just know that it, the kinetic scrolling and all this, the physics are here. What else? What else can I show you guys? YouTube app remains the same. The browser is a little different. Uh, you do get a little bit of a different. It's telling me about that that uh, multi gesture thing. You can kind of let's see if I can do it. The way you do it is you touch two points and you zoom in, zoom out, just like that. It's kind of a novelty, but I think I would actually use it a few times. Um, helps out with the two hand operation of this device just holding it like this especially if you're not uh, holding it like sitting in your lap or on a desk because if it's on a desk you're just going to go like this but if you're sitting in your hand it's much easier to kind of go like this I like it um, there's a little bit of a difference right here across the top you see it's kind of a white gradient with gray buttons with a black tab it's not blue like it was before still have the same functionality you can still sync it up with Google Chrome uh, nothing's really different here all I did was really change the way things look. Um, across the top right here, if you see, if you see right there, they have little indicator icons with circles around them. Stuff like that is what they made different. Uh, widgets, of course, as well. Um, but other than that, guys, man, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on how to do it or if you guys are having any issues, um, there are a lot of other options out there. If you don't want to upgrade to the original one, you can actually uh, go to XDA and they have some rooted uh, ROMs that you can flash on here and provide a little bit more functionality as far as uh, overclocking and, and other things like that but that's a whole nother video guys I'm not gonna get into that right now uh, if you guys have any questions let me know and I will see you guys in my next video peace mm -hmm.